Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Faith Timbo. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm blowing kisses to all of you guys. I'm giving you a big, big hug. Thank you so much for the love. So, you guys, please, please, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have any more tips on what I'm going to say. But if you have more to add, don't forget to comment down below. So, in this video, I'm going to be doing or giving you guys some tips on how you can have the best last quarter of the year so that you can say I had the best year 2023. Yeah, let's get right into the video. Enjoy. And I bought this cute smartwatch i'm in love i'm in love and i'm obsessed i feel like i really worked on myself spiritually mentally physically and emotionally i'm not perfect but i struggle a bit with my emotions and let me just pick up this sorry about that i received a call from my mom yeah so i just want to tell you guys how you can have the best three months leading to 2024 because habits can be changed within 21 days when you work on yourself spiritually emotionally physically become a better person and i feel like i've really faced a lot of things in my life but i'm still happy i still find joy even in hardships but when you are in the hardship sometimes it's hard to be strong but i feel like when you keep working on yourself you get stronger you get better you are able to deal with whatever is thrown at you in your life so while i'll be talking i want to be doing my makeup then afterwards i start doing the try on home so let's get right into it how cute are these buns i should go with brown because the aesthetic today is saying brown i did my braids from hair by love I feel like everything is becoming expensive. You guys don't wanna know how much I paid for these braids. I'm gonna stick to the girl talk. I already moisturized my face. I'll just apply some makeup. And my makeup is just no makeup makeup look without lashes. It's just unique. I just do my own thing. I just don't do what everybody does. So if you see I'm doing something different, just just listen to what I'm saying. Don't listen, don't see what I'm doing. <laughs> But if you want to see well and good, like the first thing that you need to do in your life is to put God first. For me, I'm a Christian and I believe in God Almighty. I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. I believe He died for my sins, he rose, and He will come again. Like when you put God first in your life, everything falls in place. For me, I'm a wreck without God once i stop having the devotions reading i feel like everything is falling apart doing life with god he makes everything beautiful like he shows up in ways i least expect and god has been good to me and he's still doing good things in these three months put god first and let him be the center of your life and you see how your life will change so for me how i put god first in my life i go to church i listen to sermons when i'm cooking and i listen to gospel music for the first two hours of every day not every day sometimes i just want to listen to afrobeat or r b the podcast that i listen to is no for sure by b Samon and megan ashley i've been i follow that podcast and it's funny but it's also you know they talk about god and it's interesting yeah so going to church is important you can listen to someone's at home but being the house of the lord there's just a different feel to it to be honest you can start going to church and then get to know people you meet different people at church but being alone i feel like when you're in a different i, I work from home but some months i'll be like okay i want to start going to the gym just to you know be in a different environment or different space and that helps so some applies with church you can watch your sermons on tv but i feel like it carries more weight if you go to church there's just a different feel and just seeing the preacher in person yeah I'm not against 
not going to change but these three months you can give it a try just to go and just see how it goes yeah so putting god first is very important the second point of how you can make the last quarter of the year better is by exercising for me i love to work out working out is therapy on its own moving your body you feel lighter first it's not easy of course if you're just starting the journey of working out and sometimes it's not about losing weight it's just about taking care of your body you know we consume a lot of things especially with foods but when you're working out you lose some calories and you stay in shape and you look good when you look good you feel good and you are more confident and i bought this apple watch just to help me track the steps the calories how much i'm burning every day and i know it will help you can work out from home you can work out from the gym it doesn't matter to be honest move your body you feel better you can take a walk if you love to walk for me i'm scared of taking of, of walking because i feel like i can get bashed i know it's a bigger scale of mine so i prefer working out at the gym or from home especially if i'm busy like the coming like the last few months will be busy for me so i'm trying to balance as you saw in my last video i was busy hey guys sorry for that so what did i end up for that guys so i just had to set my face i was talking to my sister yeah i just had to set my face with powder translucent powder i'm not going in very much because the lighting will be in my face and i don't want to be looking you know like a ghost or doing my makeup very much i'm just keeping it minimal yeah so as i was saying as you saw in my last video i was making i was meal prepping because i want to be eating clean for the rest of the year it gets better with time you know I detox water three times a week and then um for the rest of the four days i drink three liters of water so my bottle is three liters which is good and then sometimes i also just add water when i get dehydrated and i make sure that i finish before um 18 hours so that i don't wake up and pee in the night i wake up to pee in the night sometimes but i don't usually wake up anymore i feel like i hope i'm saying the right things you know yeah so eating clean waking out and so i'll go in with essential cosmetics essential corner cosmetics so i'm using a brush but the back side when you eat clean your digestive system is better for me i have to eat clean because my metabolism is slow and if i'm not drinking water eating clean if i just start eating junk foods i'll gain weight so my goal is to remain a certain weight because i am my business model i take pictures for the pre-orders items and things that are already available yeah so being in shape is important to me and it will always be as long as i have the business and i'm doing it yeah so that's my biggest motivation expeditiously i want to look good in pictures but i always want to wear my clothes so that people can take orders and make money out of that which is a plus i know some people will be like you like taking a lot of pictures but it's just not pictures that's how i make my money <laughs> fortunately <laughs> and i enjoy what i do i love what i do other point that i have to make the rest of the year beta is to guard your heart what do i mean by guarding your heart I feel like you have to guard your heart from a lot of things in life we are all faced in life as long as you're a human being you you'll be faced with you know you'll be faced with adversity but how are you going to deal with it is the question 
so now i'm getting concealer and i'll just line my brows yeah so it's important to guard your heart from things from situations from people for me i feel like i love like i'm a lover and last month was hectic and it was a bit hard for me because i didn't feel appreciated or i was put in situations where i wouldn't put people who i love when i love i love like i go in so hard and i feel like i i deep down my heart i'm like okay i want everybody to love me this certain way but just because you have a good heart doesn't mean the rest of the world has your heart and that's one thing that i've learned moving forward in my life and i'm in a season of isolation from things that no longer save me one thing about me is i forgive and i don't hold grudges and i distance myself from people I hope I was even laughing at the situation that I was going through the other week. She was like, okay, Faith, you really cut off people in a minute. And then starting this year, I just took my phone and started deleting people's contacts and removing them from my socials and friending them. It felt really, really good and fulfilling because I really don't want to be having people's contacts who i know I'll, I'll never associate myself with they are just seeing what i post what i do they never check up on me they don't even care like what's the point of even you or having you in my life or you seeing my things so i did that in these remaining months i just really want to spend time alone getting to know myself more because I feel like these past few months, I had to put myself in situations that were really triggering. I'm such a popular loner. And, that's, and I have to accept that. But I thank God I have a best friend, my twin sister, who I can talk to. She's my therapist, really. And I need to appreciate her more. And also, I have sisters. I want to be spending more time with my loved ones and there's so much love at home it's so peaceful we're always laughing you know we are we there's unity and i just want to focus on things that save me you know things that bring peace in my life and not things that drain me yeah i think that's how i'm guarding my heart to be honest and i'm very choosy with people who i'm knowing i'm single but i am still guarding my heart you know when you're single you are many people approach you and it's easy to say yes to anybody who comes but i also am going to be picky because i've gone on a few dates and they've never turned into anything it's like i went on those dates because i want because i'm like okay i'm single let me have fun but sometimes you have to make connections with people Okay, it's not wrong going on dates. I don't think it's wrong because I feel like I've learned through my experience and yeah, like I've had horror stories from those dates. Like it has been crazy, but it's all an experience. And I don't regret going on those dates to be honest. But I feel like moving forward, I don't know how to navigate this single life to be honest. It's hard. It gets lonely sometimes but i feel like i just want to live in the present and not and not live too much in the future like i'm so content right now and but i'm still open to dating but it's a bit tricky it's hard but it is what it is yeah so sometimes the red flags be flagging like so i distance myself from that and i just pray that i attract better at the end of the day i always say this like you attract what you accept wait a minute now pump the brakes child yeah 
you attract what you accept because many people will approach you right and then it's up to you to accept those people in your life sometimes people will see the red flags and they will stay but just you say no this is not what's meant for me you move forward and you keep getting to know people but if you accept that person in life you continue knowing them you are attracting clearly what you've accepted expeditiously yeah there are good men out there there are good people like i've lingered so much on the guarding of your heart but it's important to guard your heart and it's important to say no to things that don't save you you can have the best last quarter of the year leading to 2024 and my other advice or my or the other point or the other hack you have to be positive a positive mind leads to a positive positive mindset leads to positive outcomes you can't have a negative mind and expect positive results it's just not possible so this is the palette that i'm using actually i know sometimes it gets hard like nothing makes sense you just feel like burying yourself in the room curtains closed and then you expect positive results no for example, if you want to lose weight, you have to exercise, you have to drink water, even if you, even when you want to have positive results in your life, you have to put in the work. And putting in the work, you're not going to be negative, you're going to be positive, right? And you're going to do positive things, which will lead to positive results. For me, one time I was at 86 kgs. I wasn't happy. I was frustrated. I never used to take pictures. I just never used to be online, to be honest. And I was always in bed, watching TV, in chalala. I was doing nothing with my life. I just feel like sometimes it's just God's timing, you know? Yeah. But moving forward, I decided to get up, start working out. And to be honest, doors even opened afterwards. It wasn't an easy journey, but I kept positive to energy. was positive even in the hard times i kept pushing and afterwards i was in shape um i started my business and i was the model and i have still have been the model for my business yeah so imagine if i never used to wake out imagine if i was just sitting in the bedroom i don't think doors would have opened in any way i wouldn't have been at my best shape but it's coming to save you in this life yeah if you want to be positive you need to put in the work you can see people you can see a therapist you can talk to your friends and just yeah make life worth living to be honest just make life worth living Is it like too much though? Just said, yeah, and that's one thing that I've learned in my life. You know, everything that I've passed through really nobody has saved me. I've literally saved myself. And that's just the unfortunate part about life, but that's just what makes everything beautiful. You need to put in the work, you need to work hard, you need to love yourself, you need to take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. People might tell you to do things, but are you willing to get up and start doing the work? That is the question. You only have one life, you're not getting any other life, there's no life rented out for you. But we don't know what's on the other side, so you need to make life worth living. Put in the work, be positive, and just see how life plays out then the other point that i have to have the best last quarter of the year you need to invest in yourself so it might be your career it might be your business even just planning for 2024 you can buy a book time is of the essence 
for me i invest in my time and i have a daily planner so i have this today planner and for example this is sunday and there are priorities here to do lists and how i manage my time starting from six hours to 24 hours and then it's showing me what's my mood money out money in the date and the day yeah the weather things to get done so this has really helped me manage my time this year is ending sometimes i sit and i look back and i'm like this hasn't been one of the best years but i've enjoyed the year there has been ups there's been downs i've enjoyed every moment even through adversity even through it all i i have managed my time and i've accomplished a lot of things and i'm grateful for that that came with time management like today i know i need to do the trial on home nobody's coming to do it so i got up planned my day i'm going to do it i'm like okay there's few trial on host today let me shoot content so that i can post on youtube and afterwards i will do the trial on home and then i will upload and then i will package and then more things will go out so it's important to plan you just can't wake up and start your day like let me go with the flow you will crash i started planning in secondary school even in university i used to plan in my day-to-day -day life i plan for my days like i write in my notes i'm going to this like i need to get this done i need to get fruits and to get vegetables what kind of vegetables am i getting what kind of fruits am i getting okay this week what stock is coming when is the try on home? when are things getting dispatched how much money am i making time is money are you making your days worth living you need to manage your time properly invest in time and avoid procrastinating because it doesn't help you in any way you don't achieve your goals through procrastination you have to put in your work and you have to know the times when to get work done yeah so the last few pointers that i have on how you can have the best last quarter of the year leading to 20 24 years in yourself be true to yourself and enjoy life save spend go out and just live life right live life right what do i mean by live right? life right for me i live life right by being true to myself so i live by certain principles they guide me in my life and so it's important to know yourself take yourself on a spa date read a book watch your favorite shows for me i'm happy when i'm waking out i'm happy that's self-love i'm happy when i'm drinking water i'm happy when i'm eating healthy foods i'm happy when i'm listening to a podcast those things bring me happiness watch i got myself a watch i worked hard that is self-love i can take myself on a spa date that is self-love i can take myself on a solo date that is self-love because i'm knowing myself like i know like okay these are the things that i love you know if i didn't love myself i wouldn't know that i love soft life to think of myself i would love to start traveling in the near future because i would love to experience you know different places of the world but right now i am living below my means so i'm just going to go in with some gloves and then i'm going to highlight my Excuse me. yeah so loving yourself is very important yeah there are other also forms of how you can love yourself but i feel like everything i've said to me that's a form of self-love like so mm. you still have a good year just because just because we've remained with three months doesn't mean the year has ended you can still have the best year you can still have a good fulfilling successful year if you just put in the work really yeah then 
I'm almost done. So we have come to the end of the vlog. You guys, take care of yourselves. So thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you liked and enjoyed what I said. Comment down below if you've got more tips on how you can have the best last quarter of 2023 so that you can say you had the best year yet. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, you guys. I really appreciate and like this video. God bless you. Bye.